Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 56. Class 56. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome, yeah, welcome, beginner students, to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show, class 56. Yes, we're going to start with a review, a little review of what we were looking at in the last class. We were practicing with the third person, and I was talking a little bit about Canada. I said, Toronto has... We were speaking with the verb to have. Toronto has a subway. It has a professional football team. It has a professional hockey team. And it has a professional baseball team. And it has a professional basketball team. True. Yes. It has a, a good, a good uh, public transportation network. It doesn't have a bull ring. Plaza de Toros. No, Toronto doesn't have a bull ring. It doesn't have a bull ring. It has a museum. It has an art gallery. Yes, it doesn't have a beach. Like Madrid. Madrid doesn't have a beach. Madrid has an art gallery. Madrid has a football uh, stadium. But Madrid doesn't have a baseball stadium. Madrid doesn't have a professional baseball team. Madrid doesn't have a hockey team. And Madrid doesn't have... Um, well, it doesn't. Well, it, Madrid has a basketball team. Yes, Madrid has a basketball team, but it doesn't have a, a professional baseball team or a professional American football team, because it's in Spain, of course. Uh, not popular sports here, but Madrid has several stadiums. Madrid has a lot of things. Now we could also say it. It has, it has, and with with objects, with things like my car, or well, my my father's car. My father has a new car, which is very nice. It has a good stereo. It has a good stereo. It has um, it has leather seats. Yes, it has automatic, well, power assisted steering. It has cruise control, which is. The, the ability to drive with the speed maintained uh, automatically by the car. It has cruise control, yes. It has a standard transmission or manual transmission. It doesn't have an automatic transmission. It has a gasoline engine. It doesn't have a diesel engine. It has four doors. It doesn't have six doors, okay? It has, it has. My brother has a house in Malaysia. He doesn't have a house in China, okay? He doesn't have a cat. He doesn't have a dog. He has a, com he, he doesn't have a computer at home. He doesn't have a computer. He has a television. He doesn't have a computer, no. He has a stereo, but he doesn't have a PlayStation. No, but he does have a stereo. Okay, so we practiced this in the last class. And now we have the structure, how many? How many? Mas sustantivo in plural, mas auxiliar, mas sujeto y verbo principal. How many cars do you have? Okay, how many provinces does Canada have? Ah, well, bueno. Ask me. Kyle, how many provinces does Canada have? Canada has 10 provinces. Mm -hmm. How many cities does Canada have? Whoa, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a maybe 100 cities. I don't know. How many provinces does Spain have? Spain, I believe, has 50 provinces. It depends how you count Ceuta y Malaya and all this, how you, how you count the different regions, Ceuta y Malia. Y eso. 
How many houses do you have? I have one house. How many neighbors do you have? I have three neighbors. How many houses does Bruce Springsteen have? Oh, I don't know. Probably several. I bet. I, I, I would. I expect that Bruce Springsteen has three or four houses. I would expect. Yes. How many pencils do you have? I have ten pencils. How many pens do you have? I have ten pens. How many books do you have? I have twelve books. How many computers do you have? I have one computer. How many computers does your brother have? He has one computer. How many sisters do you have? I don't have any sisters. How many? How many microphones does the studio have? The studio has many microphones. The studio has maybe ten microphones. Yes, to have. How many tal auxiliary subject have? All right, very good. Word of the day. Now it's time for our word of the day. That's right. The word of the day today is cordero. Como se dice cordero? Lamb, 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 lamb. S O S. Lamb. Y fíjate, L A M B. But the B is silent. Es mudo. Lamb, lamb, lamb. Conmigo, lamb. Pronunciation. What? SOS. There are words like this that have a silent B. Lamb. Also, comb. To comb my hair. Peinar. To comb. I have to comb the lamb's hair. Repeat. I have to comb the lamb's hair. El pelo del cordero. I have to comb. The lamb's hair. No B, not comb. Lamb. No, 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 no. Comb. I have to comb the lamb's hair. I have to comb the lamb's hair. Very good. Now we're going to talk about a structure that this is a cause for many mistakes. But it's very simple. Lunch. We have lunch. We don't take lunch. We do not Take a coffee. Vamos a tomar un café. Let's have a coffee. Okay? To take is to acquire something and travel to another place with it. No, no. If, if someone says, let's take a coffee, I will say, where do you want to take it? Where do you want to take it? You take it home? No. Pues a tomar aquí. To have it here. Let's have it here. Yes. Okay. So if I go to McDonald's and they say and they say para tomar o para llevar, pues para mí igual. Tomar to ta- in English to take or to go or to well llevar to to carry out, but in English it would be the same because take. In fact, we say to take out. In English, digamos para llevar to take out. In English, if you say lo quieres para llevar, in English we say. I want it to go or to take out. To take out or to take. In Britain, they say to take away. In American English, to take out. I go to McDonald's to get takeout food. I would like it to take out or to go. Yes. So we do never. We, we, we do not take a coffee. We have a coffee. Okay. Desayunar. ¿Cómo se dice desayunar? To have breakfast. Conmigo. Breakfast. One word, breakfast, to have breakfast. Did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, Kyle, I had breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? I had an egg and a piece of toast and some yogurt and some juice. Oof, que des- desayuno, no? What a breakfast. Breakfast. 
Yes. In Spain, it's not so common to have big breakfasts. In Canada, I always have a big breakfast. Well, even here, on weekends, cuando tengo tiempo, los fines de semana, por ejemplo, on the weekends, for example, I have a big breakfast. I will have four pieces of bacon, and then when there is a lot of grease in the pan, I fry it in, in the pan, the salten, to fry. When I fry the bacon in the pan, it produces a lot of grease, grasa. And then in this grease, I fry two eggs. Then the e then I make two or three pieces of toast and a big glass of juice. Delicious. Fantastic breakfast. Very nice. Very nice breakfast. I love to have breakfast. I love to have big breakfasts at home in my house. In Canada, I have even bigger breakfasts. I often have, in Canada, my mother makes big breakfasts for me when I go to Canada. She makes pancakes, tortitas, pancakes. I love pancakes. And I put maple syrup, seropa de arce, digamos, in English, maple syrup, which is a very typical Canadian product. I don't have time to talk about maple syrup. I would love to talk about maple syrup for the next 10 minutes, but I do not have time because we have so many things to talk about. But look it up on Google, maple syrup, and it's delicious. I recommend you try it. Maple syrup, syrup de arce, mm, delicious, with your pancakes, tortitas. I recommend, I recommend you try it. Now we have... To have lunch. Yes, to have lunch. ¿Qué es? Amorzar o comer. To have lunch. I have lunch at home. I always have lunch at home. I never have lunch at the office. Bueno, a veces como en un restaurante. Sometimes I have lunch in a restaurant. To have lunch. To have dinner. Cenar. To have dinner. Tampoco tomamos la cena. Cenamos. We have dinner. To have dinner. To have a snack. Merendar. To have a snack. To have a snack. I love having snacks. I would like to have a snack now. To have something to eat. Comer algo. To have something to eat. To have a drink. Tomar una copa. To have a drink. To have a beer. To have a beer. Tomar una cerveza. To have a coffee. Tomar un café. To have a coffee. Mm. Do you have lunch at home? In casa? In voz alta. Do you have lunch at home? Yes, I have lunch at home. I have lunch at home. Do you have lunch alone, solo? Yes, I sometimes, a veces, sometimes I have lunch alone. Sometimes I have lunch with my friends. Sometimes, a veces, sometimes I have lunch alone. Mm. I usually have lunch at home, in casa. Pero a veces, sometimes, I have lunch in a restaurant. Okay? ¿Entiendes? Okay. Muy bien. Tengo un visitante. I have a visitor in the studio. But she's only listening because I don't have, I don't have an extra microphone. No tengo otro micro. I have a guest, but I don't have a microphone. Okay. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it's time now for our vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. Accidente. Accidente. Accident. Accident. En voz alta? Accident. Very good. Todo. Todos. 
all, all, all. En casa? En casa? At home. I have lunch at home. I usually have lunch at home. Hermano? Brother. Brother. I have a brother. I have a brother. I don't have a sister. Hermano, brother. I have a brother. Viaje de negocios. Business trip. Business trip. All right, very good. Translation. Yes, now it is time for our translation list. Translation list number six. We have three, two minutes, two minutes left for the translation list. Number one, tu libro es interesante. Your book is interesting. Your book is interesting. Number two, esta clase es aburrida. This class is boring. This class is boring. Number three. Aquella lista es muy larga. That list is very long. That list is very long. Number four. Es una lista muy larga. It's a very long list. It's a very long list. Number five. Esa persona es importante. That person, esa persona, that person is important. That person is important. Number six, su esposa es sueca. Discúlpame, su esposa es de Suecia. Es de Suecia. His wife is from Sweden. His wife is from Sweden. Number seven. ¿Es ese tu cuaderno? Is that your notebook? Notebook? Very good. Number eight. ¿Quién está con ella? Who's with her? Who's, who is, con la contracción, who's with her? Número nueve. Number nine. ¿Dónde está mi camisa? Where's my shirt? Where's my shirt? Number ten. Esta solución es importante. This solution is important. And number nine. Mi casa está en un pueblo pequeño. My house is in a small town. And number 12, tu casa es un, es, disculpa, tu casa es en una ciudad grande. Your house is in a big city. Your house is in a big city. Muy bien, muy bien hecho en casa. Ahora os dejo porque hemos quedado sin tiempo. I will see you next time. I will be back in a few minutes for the intermediate class. And back for more of the beginner class tomorrow, same time, same place. See you there. Bye-bye.